I'm uh, Martin Johnson of Roxon Internet Software. We make a product called the Roxon Editorial Portal. It's a web-based production system for uh, print, web, and tablets, and it's focused on, on efficient production, uh, lean production, really. And the, the system can import data from, from feeds, from XML feeds, from Word documents. Uh, you can e even email it to the system, and the system will extract text and uh, images from, from your emails. Uh, you can do free text searches uh, in, in your feeds. The, the system will extract uh, any attached images and, and uh, yeah, combined packages of, uh, of content. Um, you can set up drop folders and so on. So in, in this example, we will uh, switch to this page management view. We, we will use some, some page templates. We will, uh, in this example, we, we uh, have a, a, a travel template. It's a multi-page document that is going to be filled with, with uh, a travel, travel story. Uh, and in the system, you can uh, tag your, your templates to say that this is where the headline should go, this is where the byline should go, this is the, the body text uh, spot and so on. Uh, so we will use this, this template. I will copy it into a, a real production issue and the, the system will process this, this template. If I double click this page, I will get back to the, the standard view and the system noticed that hey, there's a, a travel story here that, that needs to be filled with, with, uh, with content. And it, it, it says that I need seven photos for this story. I need a text. Uh, so let's, let's go ahead and, and use this, this Word document that, that has been uh, dropped into a drop folder uh, before. The system extracts uh, paragraph styles from, from Word documents. Uh, so it knows where the where the headline should go and, and, and so on. Okay, so I will use this this uh, document. I will add it to this story, this templated story. I will also select a few photos for this travel story, uh, like this, and I add them this story and instantly I will get a preview from from the InDesign server that's running in in the background and uh, it shows me what what this uh, story will lo look like in in the final uh, InDesign document using the, the the content that I assigned so if I switch positions on on the photos it will update uh, the, the story preview for me like this instantly and if I open up this this text that was imported from from the, the word document I can go ahead and, and make further uh, changes this is a, a rich text editor where I can uh, assign paragraph styles character styles I can do spell checking um, and yeah I, I, I get the full full preview of, of the paragraph styles and everything that, that I use. I can also have some flexi fl flexibility in, in my templates. So if, if I leave out the quote, it will uh, pull off, pull off the, the quote from the, from the page. So at this point, the, the, the story is not yet on the, on the InDesign document. It's, it's just a, a preview on the story. Uh, but if I switch to the, the page close-up, mode, I can use the, the drop-down uh, to update all, all stories that are assigned to this page I want to, to update. So uh, I, I will go ahead and do that and the InDesign server will, will mount uh, this story onto the, the final InDesign document. So, so this document Either I, I can go ahead and make manual uh, changes by, by opening up this uh, InDesign document in my local InDesign client, 
or I can uh, just go with, with what uh, the, the, the template presented me, but I can still go ahead and make manual tweaks uh, to this document. And if you're working with the uh, document manually, you can browse the texts and images through our uh, InDesign plugin. You can also do story jumps. If you have overset text that you need to jump into another uh, page, you can uh, get the list of, of such uh, texts through our, our uh, plugin. However, I will uh, go ahead and, and close this page and I will, yeah, may, maybe I, I need to forward the, the production status of, of the document to proofreading and then the, the colors will change to, to indicate uh, the, the current workflow level of this document. So this is, this is my, uh, my final result, my final story. And uh, I will go ahead and uh, export this this uh, story onto uh, the website uh, as well as to my tablet issue and I can select a, a, a position on the web uh, web page website uh, a position and uh, ranking of, of this story and uh, a predefined publishing time I want to publish it right now and I also want to publish it onto uh, the tablet. And I click publish. And what happens is the system exports an, an XML file to our CMS system, which we have an, an integration with, but we can also integrate with, with uh, other CMS vendors. Uh, so if I switch to the website, we should see that this story that I created uh, pops up the, on the start page and uh, it, it presents all the images uh, that, that were assigned to this story. Also, if I switch to my tablet, we should see that the story is here as well. And this, this tablet version, is, it's, an, it's a native iPad app, uh, but it's driven by an HTML backend which means it's easy to adapt to other devices such as Androids, uh, smartphones and so on. And uh, yeah, the, the, the layout is adapted for, for tablets and smartphones with, uh, with paging of, of the body text. Uh, you can rotate the device and the, the layout will adapt uh, accordingly. Uh, the images will form an image slideshow so with very very efficiently you can publish your co your content to multiple channels such as print web tablets the the, the tablet version it, it has a, a navigation uh, simple navigation with, with all the uh, stories in in the current issue and as an editor you can you can preview uh, what your tablet issue looks looks like. These are all the stories that are, are currently uh, published onto onto the tablet issue. If we select the story over here, we will see what the story looks looks like in uh, portrait, landscape, smartphone uh, variants. Back to the editorial system. Um, Everything is, is archived in the system, all the InDesign pages, uh, the PDFs, uh, metadata, uh, text, images, everything is, is archived straight into the system. So every, everything, you can search back through your archives uh, and see what you, what you wrote about a specific topic previously. Um, it's, it's just there, everything.